Well, good morning and thank you for joining me for this time of morning prayer on Monday. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great goodness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is, is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 96. O sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be revered above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendour. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king, the world is firmly established, it shall never be moved. He shall judge the peoples with equity, let the peoples be glad and let the earth rejoice, let the sea roar and all that fills it, let the fields exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading today is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. At the third moon, after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine. But you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one, Everything that the Lord has spoken we will do. 
Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud, in order that the people may hear when I speak with you, and so trust you for ever after. Then Moses had told the words of the Lord to the people, and the Lord said to the pe Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and prepare for the third day, because on the third day the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set limits for the people all around, saying, Be careful not to go up to the mountain or to touch the edge of it. Any who touch the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they shall be stoned or shot with arrows. Whether animal or human being, they shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they may then go up onto the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people. He consecrated the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Prepare for the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day there was thunder and lightning, as well as a thick cloud on the mountain, and a blast of a trumpet so loud that all the people in the camp trembled. Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God. They took their stand at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because the Lord had descended upon it in fire. The smoke went up like the smoke of a kiln while the whole mountain shook violently. At the blast of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Moses would speak and God would answer him in thunder. When the Lord descended upon Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, the Lord summoned Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go down, and warn the people not to break through to the Lord to look, otherwise many of them will perish. Even the priests who approach the Lord must consecrate themselves, or the Lord will break out against them. Moses said to the Lord, The people are not permitted to come up to Mount Sinai, for you yourself warned us, saying, Set limits around the mountain and keep it holy. The Lord said to him, Go down and come up, bringing Aaron with you. But do not let either the priests or the people break through to come up to the Lord, otherwise he will break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them, Today's canticle is called A Song of Deliverance. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the Lord, I too decided, after investigating everything carefully from the very first, to write an orderly account for you, my most excellent Theophilus, so that you may know the truth concerning the things about which you have been instructed. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord. But they had no children, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were getting on in years. Once when he was serving as priest before God and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot 
according to the custom of the priesthood, to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people was praying outside. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink, for even before his birth he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah then said to the angel, How will I know that this is so? For I am now an old man, and my wife is getting on in years. The angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak, until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them, and they realised that he had seen a vision. He kept mon motoring to, his, to them, but remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in seclusion. She said, This is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favourably upon me and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I'm going to read to you again from Jesus Calling. Follow me one step at a time. That is all I require of you. In fact, that is the only way to move through this space-time world. You see huge mountains looming, and you start wondering how you're going to scale those heights. Meanwhile, because you're not looking where you're going, you stumble on the easy path where I am leading you now. As I help you get back on your feet, you tell me how worried you are about the cliffs ahead. 
but you don't know what will happen today, much less tomorrow. Our path may take an abrupt turn, leading you away from those mountains. There may be an easier way up the mountains than is visible from this distance. If I do lead you up the cliffs, I will equip you thoroughly for that strenuous climb. I will even give my angels charge over you to preserve you in all your ways. Keep your mind on the present journey, enjoying my presence. Walk by faith and not by sight, trusting me to open up the way before you. So let us pray together. Let us come and turn aside for a while into the presence of God's throne of grace. Escaping for a moment the anxiety of our thoughts, putting aside the weight of the cares that we carry, letting our distractions wait and resting in God's love and peace. Let us enter the inner chamber of our soul, shutting out everything except God. Let us say to him, I seek your face, Lord. It is your face that I seek. Let the peace of this time surround you as you pray. Let the hurry and worry of life fall away from you as you are God's child. He loves you and cares for you. He is here with you now and always. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast goodness. In your abundant mercy, blot out all that offends you. Wash us thoroughly from our sin, for we acknowledge our rebelliousness, and our sin is always before us. Against you only have we sinned and done what is evil in your eyes. Purge us, and we shall be whiter than snow. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We praise you, Lord, for all that we see of you in the work of creation, the earth, the sea, the sky, and everything that has breath. You are worthy to be praised, and we know that your promises are true, that we are only at the beginning. Lord, help us to taste the glory that shall be revealed when we see you face to face. We are so surrounded by blessings and our hearts are full of thanksgiving for all that you have done for us. We know, Lord, that we are not worthy to be called your children. And yet we give you thanks that you love us and gave your son Jesus Christ to die for us so that we might live under your grace and not under law. We thank you, Father, for all your faithfulness to us. We praise you that you are faithful, good and true, and that you hate nothing that you have made. We pray for all those who do not know you. We pray for those who live under the shadow of guilt and shame. We pray for those who live by violence and terror. Please draw near to you, those who are afraid because of who they are. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord, give grace to all who work for peace, those who devote their lives in the service of others. Bless those who protect your creation, those who nurse and care for animals and who bring to light the needs of this planet. For your love and your kindness to us and all your children, we praise your name. Lord, we remember especially today, Terry Culkin, Corin Fernandez, Clive Shrubsall, Zoe, Pookie, Tom, Lyra and Ellie, Fiona Porter, 
Carol Daglish, Wendy and John, Sue, Russell and Aileen. And in a moment of quiet, we bring before God those who have asked for our prayers. Lord Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today and forever. We lift before you those names that have been spoken, those names, Lord, that may be known only to you. Lord, stretch forth your hands to heal. Send your Holy Spirit to bring compassion upon all those who need your grace at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. May the offering of our lives, the words of our mouths, be acceptable acts of thanksgiving and praise to you, Lord. Fill each one of us who in these moments are praying with you. Let your light so shine that we all reflect your wondrous glory. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you, to the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do enjoy your day.